previous topic we have discussed about the block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope internal diagram of cathode ray tube electrostatic focusing of cro now we will discuss about how cathode ray oscilloscope displays waveform on the screen and why time based generator is necessary in cathode ray oscilloscope before starting how cathode ray oscilloscope displays on the waveform on the screen we will start with necessity of time based generator in cro as we know that it is necessary to deflect the electron beam vertically and horizontally therefore the signal which we have to observe on the screen of a cro it should be applied to the y or vertical deflection plates and the sweep signal should be applied to the horizontal deflection plate that sweep signal is nothing but a time based signal signal and that is a sawtooth signal so let us see why this time based signal is necessary in cro now let us see time based generators circuit which is used to generate the linear variation of voltage with time are called voltage time based generators also the circuit which produce a current which is linearly increases with time are called current time based generators since this circuit provides an output waveform which exhibits a linear variation of voltage with time are called linear time based generators so the important application is in cro which is used to sweep the electron beam horizontally across the screen is called sweep circuit this sweep circuit is most important student because when this sweep circuit is not present then there is no voltage across the horizontal deflection plates now let us discuss more about time based generators the cro is usually display a waveform that varies as a function of time if the waveform is to be accurately reproduced the beam should have a constant horizontal velocity as the beam velocity is a function of deflecting voltage the deflecting voltage must increases linearly with time a voltage with such characteristics is called as a ramp voltage if the voltage decreases rapidly to zero with a waveform repeatedly produced as shown in this figure we observe a pattern which is generally called a sawtooth waveform why the name is sawtooth because the blade of x saw looks like a sawtooth therefore the name is given here sawtooth waveform the time taken to return to its initial value is known as a flyback or return time see in this diagram sweep time is denoted by letter t s while the p r is nothing but retrace period or flyback time in time based generator ujt means uni junction transistor this is ujt act as a switch how this act as a switch let us see when power is first applied a capacitor c charges exponentially through resistor rt the emitter voltage of ujt towards the supply voltage vbb when ve becomes ve means what emitter voltage this is a voltage across b2 and this is a base one this is the emitter terminal of a ujt 
when VE becomes equal to the peak value of UJT, emitter base 1 junction becomes forward biased and UJT turns on. Therefore, VP is equal to eta VBB plus 0.6. As UJT switches on, the voltage across the UJT that is a peak voltage is given by eta VBB that is applied battery voltage plus 0.6 where eta is equal to intrinsic standoff ratio and it is given by the equation RB1 upon RB1 plus RB2. When UJT is turned on, capacitor discharges through this capacitor CT discharges through UJT as it provides low resistance path between emitter and B1 the voltage of VE decreases. So, the voltage value of VE decreases to VE minimum. At this value, UJT is turned off. Therefore, the capacitor recharges. This cycle of charging and discharging of capacitor repeats again and again and we can see the sawtooth waveform at the output. Let us see sawtooth waveform in the next diagram. See, in this diagram, when the capacitor charges exponentially, we will get the rising A and the time period is called as a sweep time. While, when capacitor discharges to UJT, in this diagram, you can see the falling edge and this is called as a flyback period or retrace path. This process is repeated again and again, charging Discharging. Charging and discharging of capacitor takes place. So, due to this repeated variation, alternately we will get a sort of waveform for the deflection of electron beam horizontally. So, it is must that this sort of generator or time based generator is used in CRO. So this is sawtooth waveform. How is it generated? As previously discussed, UJT switches on and off, and accordingly that capacitor CT charges and discharges. We will get the sawtooth waveform. See, this is first rising edge. Age. We can see in this edge capacitor charges exponentially. So we will get get the sweep time. It is denoted by Ts. It is rising age. As the capacitor discharges through UJT, we will get the trailing age or this is called as a flyback period or retrace period. As this processor repeated again and again, that is charging and discharging of the capacitor repeated again and again. So, we can see the output of the UJT as a sawtooth waveform and this sawtooth waveform name is given from the name of hexaw blade that looks like a sawtooth so the name is given sawtooth waveform and this waveform is very necessary for horizontal deflection of electron beam if this waveform is not present we can see on the vertical line on the screen of a CRO therefore the variable control is used for continuous control of frequency by varying R and time per division control is used for charging C in states to provide a number of frequency rate. So remember this. Sometimes question may be like uh, question may be asked like this: What is the necessity of time based generator in CRO? Why sweep generator is necessary in CRO? Explain the necessity of type A generator in CRO. So, variety of questions may be asked like this in board exam or paper 2. Now, in this second part of the video,
we are going to learn about how CRO displays waveform on the screen. Now let us see how a CRO displays waveform. In previous topic, we have discussed about cathode ray oscilloscope, its block diagram, cathode ray tube, electrostatic focusing, different type of deflection system. This is a new topic. How CRO displays waveform. In this topic, you can see different diagrams. In above two diagram, you can see if a DC voltage is applied to the horizontal deflection plates, then the spot moves either to the left or to the right. Suppose if plate A is positive, then the spot deflect towards left. See this is diagram at the left side. And if the point B is positive than point A, then the beam deflect or spot deflect towards the right. Both these figures are related to DC input. Now what happens if we apply AC input to the horizontal deflection plates? If we apply <coughs> sorry, if we apply an AC voltage that is from step down transformer to the horizontal deflection plates, the spot moves rapidly from left to right at the rate 50 times per second. Means there are 50 cycles arrive in a second. But due to persistence of vision, we observe a solid line. See, this is a solid line in this figure A on the screen. So, we can observe the solid line instead of the waveform on the screen. Actually, there are 50 cycles in a second, but you observe only solid line on a screen. Now, if we apply AC voltage of sort of type, again we get the solid line as shown in this figure B. Means it is necessary to apply voltages across vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plate simultaneously. Then and then we can see the particular image or waveform on the screen of oscilloscope. As it is necessary to apply the signal to the vertical deflection plate and horizontal deflection plate, we can see the resultant image on the screen of the oscilloscope. For that purpose, this typical diagram shows how CRO displays waveform. See, these are the vertical deflection plane. The sine wave signal is applied to this place. These are the sets of horizontal deflection plate and the sawtooth signal is applied to this place. And this is the screen of oscilloscope. And we have seen the resultant image on the screen of CRO and the image is nothing but a sign view. Now starting from this point, if we want to observe the waveform on the screen, the signal to be observed should be applied to the vertical deflection plate and this signal is in the form of sine view. And the sweep voltage is applied to the horizontal deflection plate and that is nothing but sawtooth signal. A sawtooth voltage increases linearly with time the CRT spot moves across the screen at 
a constant velocity from left to right. At the end of the sweep time, the sawtooth voltage rapidly or suddenly drops from maximum value to zero. The CRT spot moves rapidly to the left hand side due to the influence of second force the electron beam moves vertically according to the magnitude and polarity of the input signal so the resultant motion of the electron beam therefore produces a crt display of vertical input as a function of time see this is a vertical display as a function of time the simultaneous application of deflection voltage to both sets of plate thus causes a crt spot to trace an image on the screen and final, finally we can see the image and that image is nothing but whatever the applied input that is a sine wave input to the vertical deflection plates and this is a sine wave signal on the screen of a CRO. In this way we can easily understand how CRO displays the waveform on the screen. Remember this point for board exam. This is the most important point. Question may be asked in the theory exam. That is how cathode ray oscilloscope displays waveform. Or the question arises like this. Explain how cathode ray displays waveform on the screen.